Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I am going to be kitting up today. As you can see, I've got my drills all laid out in DMC order, and I'm going to be kitting up what I think is my last kit of the year, and that is a flower crazy. This will hopefully be number 20 on my artist series so that I can finish up that goal. And also this will be a diamond art club kit with flowers. So that will meet the last kit that I need to check off all five of those for the DAC challenge. So that will let me finish both of those. I've got two ABs in this kit and I've got 47 colors, but there's a couple of colors that I have a ton of. So I'm gonna be kitting it up in my Elizabeth, one of my Elizabeth Ward trays. The color that I have the most of is 3371. If you remember from the unboxing, basically everything is going to get outlined in black. So I have, well, dark brown. So I have a ton of dark brown. So whenever I have kits that I have a lot of big bags like this, I almost always use my Elizabeth Ward just because it's modular and it lets me kind of customize how I want the tray to look. That being said, I have a ton of Elizabeth Ward trays currently in use with other kits. So we'll see how this goes for me if I have all the sizes that I need. All right, let me grab my Elizabeth Ward funnel because this thing just makes my life so much easier. So I'm gonna start out with a 3371 because as many bags as I have, I don't know if just two of these is gonna be enough or even three. So I'm just gonna start kidding these up and cross your fingers for me that these do not have a ton of static. I'm gonna see if I can do this kind of a smart way so I don't have to make as many cuts. I do have my little trash can, my desktop trash can here so that I can just pour as I go. A mm, Little bit of static in that one. And I just flung a few drills everywhere. Let me go chase those. Okay, I only see one. So let's see if I can get, I think I can get a third bag in here. Let me go ahead and just cut that one loose. Again, a little bit of static, not a huge amount. So I guess I won't be too upset over that. Are they all gonna get in there though? I may have a few clinging to the funnel when I take it off. Yep, there you can see because of the static. All right, let me put the sticker on here before I forget. This is 3371. So that was three bags I managed to get in one container. And how many bags do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. So I may need both of these. A couple of these bags are not quite as full as the others, but we'll see how things go. Like I said, I really love this funnel. It just makes my life so much easier. Well, that one didn't have a lot of bad statics. So that's good. Maybe I'll get lucky and I just had a couple of bags that had static. Ooh, I'm liking this system. Again, just a couple. Okay, and I don't think I can fit any more in there. I certainly can't fit an additional bag. So since I have three of these large ones, I think I'll just make all three of these, the 3371. The most I have of the other colors is two bags. The next size down I think will be enough that I can fit two bags in one of those size containers. So I'll just stick with Ooh, that one had quite a bit of static in it. Work all those out. Okay. And my last bag of 3371. Whew. That's a lot of drills. So that's basically two and a half of the largest container for all the 3371s. Let's see if I can get them all to fall down and Nope, still had a few hanging on to the bottom there. Not so bad that I need to get out my static guard to get them in the containers. 
but I probably, because you can see how they're kind of sticking to the side here, I probably will go through and do some static guard with them at some point. Okay, so now to pick out the ones that I have multiple bags of, I've got two bags of 3778. So let me find that sticker. I'm so excited to work on this one, you guys. This one was on my want really bad list for a while and I had to wait for them to restock it because I missed it when it came out as a new release. So I signed up via email to get it as soon as it was restocked. And as soon as I got the email saying it was restocked, I immediately went out and bought it because I didn't want to miss it again. Lots less static in those. Okay, is this too full? Oh no. Okay, no. I just needed to bump them down in there a little bit. Whew, so that fit in there just very nicely. All right, then I have two bags of 741. So let me find the sticker for 741. This is the color. Every time I get this color in a kit, all I can think of is this is the color that I got when I was doing Vibrant Italy that I got mixed up. I think I got like 741 and 742 with that kit and I wasn't paying attention and I got them mixed in together, which since it was a Diamond Art Club, no biggie, I just, ooh, those are a little staticky. I contacted them and said, oops, I made a mistake. My drills are sticking to my fingers and flying everywhere. I made a mistake and they sent me new drills that weren't mixed together. All right, let me get all of these off of here so that I can get them into the container. All right, there we go. Two bags <laughs> seems to be just fitting in that size of container. So what else do I have two bags of? I think, let's see, I have two bags of this color. So let me grab that sticker, 356. And then I think the only other one that I have two bags of is one of my ABs. This one I didn't realize I had doubles of because I cut, ended up cutting the bags apart. I don't think they came in different sleeves, but they're the same color, so. Okay, so I think the rest of them, if it's a big bag, I'll use this size. If it's not, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna start going down by DMC number now kind of see what size of each one I need. Let me put my my double bag of ABs here first, because I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, so this AB I've got two bags of. So let me get all of these in here, and then I can move on to figuring out what I need to do. Ooh, I thought that one's a little full too. But no static with that one. Okay, look at all those pretty ABs. All right, let me empty my little trash can here because I've got a lot of trash in it already from all those 3371 drills and I will be right back. All right, I'm gonna change up the way that I'm doing this a little bit. I decided I'm gonna go through and pick out the ones that need the smallest containers first because these seems to seem to be the ones that I need the most of. I should just go out and buy some extra ones of this small size because I seem to always need more of them than I have. I do have extras of them, but again, that's the reason I like the Elizabeth Ward. Like that doesn't even fill up that teeny little tray. So there's no point in using a bigger tray for that. But sometimes I have so many of them that don't have very many drills that I could put all of them in these teeny tiny containers. And you can buy an Elizabeth Ward tray. All the ones that I have are the ones that have the variety of sizes, but you can buy an Elizabeth Ward tray that's filled with nothing with these little ones. I don't need the actual tray part anymore, but it would be nice to have more of these little sizes. So I may just need to go out and buy some additional ones. I've already done that once, but Maybe I just need to go out and do it again so that I make sure I have the sizes for what I want. Or, you know, just not kit up so many kits all at once that they're all in use. 
that would probably help as well. I could not kit up as many of these as I have been, but I want to get them done. And if I don't have them kitted up, then I can't work on them, right? It's going pretty quickly, I think. And this one only has 47 colors, so it doesn't have as many colors as some of the other kits I've been working on. Some of my Oraloas, you know, my colors are in the 60s. So, all right, so I've got these two. So 340 and 352 are the stickers I need. I usually just go down in DMC order, but this way I can kind of pick and choose through some of the kits, through some of the containers, and see what I need and what I'm gonna end up with. I don't think I have as many of these that I need the extra small ones for, but we'll see. See, that's gonna be misleading because I'm going to think that I'm further along than I am because I'm getting higher in numbers, but I still have some of the lower numbers left since I'm doing it this way. All right, then definitely these three, four, only need a small one. Those two could probably go in bigger. These two, definitely small. Okay, am I going to have enough? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've only got one small one left. Hmm, I've got maybe one or two that could be in these small sizes, but that's working out pretty well, so I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Okay, 435, 436, and 437. I wonder why all the 400s are the ones that are, there's not very many. That's going to be super crooked. Hang on. It's not going to be perfectly straight, but I didn't want it to be quite that crooked. Okay. I was trying to film earlier and had to come back and film later in the day because my neighbor's dog was out again. Although I had to apologize in my head to the neighbor whose dog I thought it was that was barking. I thought it was the St. Bernard that lives behind our house. They have a St. Bernard and a Husky, but it actually was the Labrador that lives at a different neighbor's house that was barking all the time. Cute dog. I have no idea what it was barking at. There was nothing outside, but it would not be quiet. And even though I don't think it carries over when I'm filming, I never know, so. All right, now I need to put stickers on all of these. So 452 for this one. And then I need 938. And 992. So 938 and 992. It's always so gratifying to see the stickers disappearing off of the sheet as you're working through these. And then after this, I will move up to the next larger size of container. I might have some more of these small ones laying around, but I don't think I really need them. So I gotta say, I'm loving this funnel. I really wanted to try out the funnel that I bought from Bella Art Dana Cole because I bought a funnel from them that's supposed to work with the bottle cases, but I didn't want to use the bottle case containers with this particular kit because I just thought with all the 3371 that it would be better to use the Elizabeth Ward. We'll see how that works out for me. All right, so I'm gonna go back and do these in order now because I think, like I probably could have put 350 in the small one, but I think it'll be better. And then I just put those in the wrong order. I think it'll be better if I do it this way. Some of these colors in this kit are so fun. I can't wait. Of course, there's a ton of yellow, but it kind of has all colors of the rainbow with all the different flowers. And I can't wait to see how her skin turns out. I think the color of her skin is really pretty in this painting as well. 
So I can't wait to see how it turns out in the kit. Well, I guess that one was a little staticky. All right, on to the next one. Been pretty lucky with static so far. I hope that trend continues. Because I've had a couple of kits lately where basically every single bed had really horrible static and it takes just so much longer when you have to deal with all the static. I mean, not only is it frustrating, but it just, everything takes three times as long as you want it to. Making quick progress here, that's good. All right. Woo, moving along quickly here. All right. Look at how much of the sticker sheet I'm getting through. Oops, wrong one. 355, 351, then 597 and 598. I'm looking forward to seeing how her hair turns out as well. It's got that kind of rainbow ombre look to it. It's just really pretty and colorful, which is why I wanted to do this kit. So I'm excited, hopefully, to get this done. Like I said, I've got some other big kits that I'm trying to finish, but hopefully this one will go, the other two that I'm trying to get done will go smoothly. Well, the other two. Yeah, I guess the other two. I've still got one that I need to finish for DP for Vets, and I've got these, this one and another one that I'm trying to finish for my artist series. So just need more hours in the day so I can finish everything that I need to. And I have plenty of hours in the day. I just, I need to buckle down. Like I spent six hours diamond painting the other day. Made a lot of good progress, so, but I can't, I can't pull six hours a day all the time. I get to a point where my back just, my back and my arms won't do it. So, come on, get out of there. All right, those were a little staticky. And then hanging on to the bottom, so that's good. All right, let's see what colors I have now. So there's two more yellows. All right, so these can all go in these sizes. Hmm. Actually, maybe this one will go in that size and same with this one. Just because there seems to be quite a few drills there, and I don't know... We'll see if they, I don't know if they would all fit in that smaller size. And there's no reason to, I mean, I have plenty of the other size, so it's all good. That's what I love about the Elizabeth Ward, being able to kind of make it fit what I wanna do. The other reason I love the Elizabeth Ward, one of them, is because I love when it lays out in the tray how pretty everything looks because you can see all of the colors which you don't really get with the bottle cases because everything ends up getting covered up with the bottle cases so it's just not as easy to see everything let's see if I made the right choice here Ooh. yeah I don't know if all of that would have fit in that next smaller size maybe but I, I'd rather have it have a little bit too much room than not enough. That's all good. Okay. Still getting excited for Black Friday. Although I gotta say, some of these companies are killing me. I did actually break down and buy a couple of kits before Black Friday, full confession. All right, let me get some of these other ones pulled here. Okay, I think this one could probably do with this size and then these two can be that size. I only have a few of these left. I've got one super small one. We'll see when I get to the 3800s how much I need to have left. Maybe I'll go dig in for some of those extra sizes. But like I said, I think most of those extra sizes are going to be my big ones anyway. 957 and 3325. Woohoo! I'm up into four digit DMCs. I'm making progress here. 
Okay. And I've already, we've already done some of our Christmas shopping. I think I told you guys that before. We're not, siblings are not doing gifts this year, but I do need to, all right, here we go. I got a list from my daughter, so I need to figure out what she's doing, what we're gonna get her. I don't know what to get my husband. He's so hard to buy for because, you know, we're lucky enough that we don't really want for a whole lot. And so, and unfortunately with him, everything that he wants is electronic and it all costs a thousand bucks or more. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll, I'll, I usually buy him scratch tickets for his stocking. Ooh, those are a little staticky. And then I'll get my kids. Uh-oh, did I skip numbers? What did I do? Oh, I did skip numbers. Okay, hang on. Whoo, you guys. Okay, I skipped this last number down here on the thing. That's why I got confused. Okay. So this one is 3607, this one is 3608, and this one is 3609. Oh my goodness, I almost had a heart attack thinking that I put all those in there wrong. Phew! See, I get busy talking and then I'm like, what did I do? Okay, anyway, what I was saying was, I get my husband's scratch tickets for his stocking, and then I usually will get my kids gift cards to fast food places that way when they're out and about or you know out with friends or whatever they've got they need to stop for something they've got money but a card on them so they can get something that way they feel like they've got some money in their pocket while they're out and about all right so here's my last little one like I said, I maybe we'll have some some here at the end that I could have put in this little small containers as well, but we'll see. Okay, hitting the end here. Make sure I get everything in the right order. See, like this one could probably go in a small one, but I'll just make do. All right, those are my last two of this size. And then all I've got left are big ones, which this one could probably go in a big one. Those are all small. Do I have another one? This one can probably go in a big size. All right, so let me do these two. What is this, 3841? Let me get both of those in this big size and then I'll go see if I can hunt up any more of this size because I'm almost done. I need to empty my little trash can as well. Let me finish these two. I hope all the last ones are not going to be staticky. All right, 3830 is this one. Oops, putting it on there the wrong way. Oh, thank goodness that one did not have a lot of static. Let me go see if I can scare up any more of this size because I'm definitely going to need them. And then we'll see where I'm at. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I scared up some more of this size and some more of this size. We'll see how it goes. Is this one? Yeah, I'll just put it in this size. All right. 3705, the one that I scared myself when I put it in the wrong place before, or almost put it in the wrong place. So we'll do these two. And then stickers for those, 3746 and 3808. Guys, I'm getting close. I'm getting into the 38s, that means I'm near the end. All right, cross your fingers for me that a bunch of these do not have static in them. And I was so excited to find some more of the small ones, I forgot to empty my uh, little trash can. All right, let me do a couple more of these. Yep, without the static. All right. 
think I'm going to end up having to double stack some of these like I usually do with my Elizabeth Ward, but that's okay. All right. And then 3808. Can go in a small one. Ooh, looks like I'm getting lucky with the static. Oh, I spoke too soon. All right, there's that one. Then all of these, I think all of these can go in small ones, which is good, because that's how many I have left is four. And then I've got two more that I will put in this size. All right, so let me go empty my trash and reorganize all my containers and I will be right back. All right, so I am gonna have to double stack these, but that's okay. At least I remembered to empty my trash this time. So that's good. Ooh, that looks like a big piece of trash. Ooh, it fell down in there. Can you see that? Look at that. Whoops, big piece of trash. I flung a drill, let me pick that up. I think that was all of them. Okay. Then this one, 3810. I love these kind of turquoisey dark greens. Such pretty colors. Like I said, really looking forward to this one because it is going to be such a rainbow of different colors. There's a lot of yellows because there's a lot of sunflowers, but I don't mind that. Sunflower is my state flower, so it's all good. Does that, do provinces do that in Canada? I just thought of that. Is there like a, a provincial flower, a provincial, like we have state flower, state bird, state reptile, state tree. I can't even think of what all they are. State bird is the meadowlark, state flower is the sunflower, state tree is the cottonwood tree which I am not a huge fan of because once all the cotton starts flying, I am allergic. Walk outside and start sneezing, that's no fun. All right, last two colors here, woohoo. Okay, so excited to actually start on this kit. She's been hanging on the closet door just looking at me and I'm like, let me, I gotta finish these other ones first. I do still need to finish. I've got to finish my DP for vets, my second kit for that. And I've got one other kit ahead of this one. And then this one. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some good diamond painting in in the next little bit. All right, let me clear all this stuff away and I'll be right back to show you it all kitted up. Don't okay, guys, so here you can see the completed tray. And like I said, I love the Elizabeth Ward for this reason. So you can see I've got all my 3371 here, but you can see all of the other colors. I've got purples, I've got blues, I've got some kind of sea greens, I've got uh, melons and pinks and yellows. I do have some extra colors. You can see I've got these right here and these right here that I will just let float until I get to working on this kit. I've got my image here that I will put in my logbook when I'm finished, but this sticker goes underneath my tray so that I know what kit these drills are for. I do have my logbook sticker here. I don't know if I'll use these. I've been taking a page out of Jess's book and when I print my logbook pages, I just use the image that I've saved. Every time I purchase a kit, I make a screenshot of the image and save that to my computer so that when I go to print out my logbook page, I can just grab that image on my computer and insert it in the spot that I've reserved for images on my logbook page. That way I don't have to waste sticker paper cutting out stickers for ones that don't come with stickers. That way I can make it fit a little bit more depending on the size and orientation of the kit. So yeah, there's my kit up for Flower Crazy. My hopefully last kit of the year. I don't know how that's gonna work out. I've got a month and a half left to get some stuff done. So I'm gonna be working like a fiend. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. 
And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.